a question a lot of people are asking, should they self-quarantine? Well, you may be doing everything you should, like washing your hands, avoiding crowded places, but it may not be enough. Joining us right now to answer questions about self-quarantine is Dr. Suman Radhakrishna. Thank you very much for being here. She's with Infectious Disease at Dignity Health California Hospital. Yes, thank you so much for being here, doctor. Let me ask you a question. Like we said, you have been taking precautions, but you're still a little bit worried. We just heard about a chancellor today at UCLA who was self-quarantining, but that's because he knows someone with the virus. What if, let's say, you don't know anything like that, though, but uh, you're just a little concerned. When should you consider self-quarantine? Um, self-quarantining is if someone's been exposed and they are in that incubation period of 14 days, or if they have some medical illnesses that puts them at increased risk for severe infection, and social distancing is not enough, and you need to self-quarantine. Mm. Okay, so you don't even have to know someone necessarily? N not necessarily. Someone with asthma, diabetes, someone on chemo, cancer chemo. Mm -hmm. These are individuals who could have really po bad outcomes if they got COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And those people would take that one extra step. All right, so suppose you haven't, but you're considering it, or maybe it just comes to your doorstep and you realize, all right, it's my time to self-quarantine. What do you need to get into it? Or what do you need to get in advance? Pre-planning? Um, some of the things that um, we are recommending to patients pre-planning, especially the ones who are already on medications, is when you're down to your last week on your medications, call your pharmacy. And if you're the person who goes and picks it up at a pharmacy, you know, either you go pick it up or if the line is long and you're worried about being exposed, have someone from your home go pick it up. So you're not down to your last pill. The pharmacy is closed and you don't know what to do. Um, and then instead of going to the grocery store every day because you know we want social distancing mm -hmm. you go once a week pick up all your perishables bring it back and keep it with yourself they're saying 14 days if you think you've been exposed is that enough time 14 days 14 days is for most part of people enough there may be a few who may manifest just because it's 14 day on the calendar doesn't mean you're not going to be vigilant you're still going to be checking yourself saying am I okay today do I feel feverish mm -hmm. if you are mm -hmm. check your temperature and um, take care of yourself yes it's a good idea to always have a thermometer huh uh, when is Ooh, when is court I know exactly when is quarantining not necessary if you are well, you don't necessarily have to quarantine yourself. Mm -hmm. You just have to distance yourself socially. So make sure you are at least six feet away from people around you. And um, don't touch your face with your hands and wash frequently. And if you can't and you have hand sanitizer, like I'm in a hospital and I'm going from patient to patient, yeah. I'm hand using the hand sanitizer all the time. That's, those are very, very good uh, suggestions for us. So. I'm uh, going to ask you this really quickly. If you don't live alone, how should you self-quarantine and keep those around you safe, those who live with you? If everyone is well, then just watch out, just like what you're doing. And um, if uh, someone is ill, see if you can put them in a separate room. If they're sneezing or coughing, then have them use a mask. Or if you're caring for them because they're too ill to care for themselves, then wear a mask when you go into the room. And separate the towels and uh, wash your hands. Very okay. good. Great advice. <laughs> Dr. Suman Radhakrishna, thanks very much for answering all of our questions. Yes. Thank you. Thank all you. Right.